Hi Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading for the week from October 9th through the 16th. It's Raina here. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm having fun. I've been uh, doing these weekly readings for the first time and that's been kind of cool because it's very topical. It's like, this is the 9th, so it's for this week. And um, the other thing I have been doing is going back to my Rider Waite deck, illustrations by Pamela Coleman-Smith. I always like to give her props because she's somebody that um, I think in her era she was not uh, well known and um, now we realize what a legacy she left us. Okay, I'm also doing a different spread. It's going to be pairs of cards past, present, future, so that's kind of fun. So, without further ado, I've been putting like little piles here. Now I would say, out of all the readings I've done so far, that yours is much more career-based. I've gotten some that seem more relationship-oriented, so I'm going to go with that. Um, so in the past position, these are the two cards that I got. The Magician and the Page of Wands. Very nice cards for the past position. Of course... <laughs> Oh, gosh. Of course, um, you had a lunar eclipse in, um, in August that still may be having reverberations throughout the rest of this year. Now, that might be more of endings in your life, but remember that wherever there's endings, there are beginnings. The Magician card is the, the first card. Well, technically, the Fool card is the first one, but the Magician is the number one card. And it talks about conscious co-creation, of being the master of your destiny, and doing so with what, wherever you're at. And that's what I love. I can't, I can never say this correctly. But, and it's been attributed to Ar Arthur Ashe, so I don't know. Um, do what you can with what you have where you are. Yeah, I said it. I said it uh, correctly. So it's not about grandiose beginnings necessarily, and maybe humble beginnings, but realizing that you have the power, that you even have the power, that it's not necessarily coming from an external source. And in terms of work, career, the best example I can give is creating your own business, hiring yourself instead of waiting for someone else to hire you. And I'm speaking from personal experience as somebody who's not a spring chicken, who trying to fill out applications, trying to send out resumes, always being met with silence or maybe the occasional interview that a lot of times, especially if it was for some kind of a public, a government position or a teaching uh, assistant teaching position or something where they, they're forced to go through the motions and pretend that they're actually considering outside applicants. I was always met with a, a wall and until I started doing this and I had gone back to school, I got a, you know, a bachelor's degree. So those kind of things, eventually you come to the place where you say, I'm going to have to do something for myself. And that can be the key to a whole new life that you never expected. But if you have this mindset of like, oh, yeah, but I don't have X amount of money. I can't advertise. I can't do this. You have to think outside the box. And, and I know that Aquarians can do that. And by the way, if you hear noise, I mean, I'm trying to do this early in the morning. But, you know, it just is... This is the bane of YouTube content creators. The bane of our existence is this uh, situation. 
Um, but anyway, uh, along with that card, I got the Page of Wands. So there could actually be some kind of a message. And I would even dare say an idea that comes to you that sets you sets your mind on fire. Okay, that you just say, yeah, I'm going to go with this. But it could be an external message that you receive as well. And this is the catalyst for things changing. Now, this is supposed to be the past position. Let's look at the current position. Queen of Wands, I mean, uh, Swords. Gosh, I can't even see that. The Queen of Swords uh, could be a facet of you because you are connected to Swords energy. It's the perfect melding of the intuitive and the intellect. And hey, that if that doesn't describe an Aquarian, I don't know what does because you are known for uh, being intuitive. And it's like these flashes of insight, psychic ability. And we typically think of that with the water signs, but no, Aquarius is known for that. And so that may be leading you in the direction of a particular idea. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, a great card for financial stability, financial security. So whatever it is, it's like being able to, to manage your money. If you're trying to do something along these lines, you have the funds to do it, at least to keep you going while you're exploring these things. Now let's look at the outcome. The Page of Swords, um, this could be that you're researching things, um, gathering information. Also, the Page of Swords can be about receiving a message. We have two messages. Now, one of them may be more of a passionate message that stokes you and inspires you. This one is more uh, of actual information, uh, informational message. And um, it could even come like through the internet, as many messages do these days. Uh, possibly, you know, an example would be someone tells you, yeah, I'll buy your thing. If you set up an online store, I'm there. I'll, I'll promote you. And it's like wildfire, you know. You have these um, ideas and other people are there to help you. And then the other card along with that Page of Swords is the King of Pentacles. Now, this could be the person that is in contact with you. This could be a, um, an established business person. And they may have the resources for you to pair up with them and promote your business or utilize their established business or website, whatever it is, to promote your product. Perhaps it's somebody... Uh, if you have, oh, you know, I didn't think about this uh, for the past position. That could be like a, an invention uh, because, um, what do you call it? Wands are connected to creativity, being of the fire element. So because Aquarians are so intuitive, but they also have a scientific mind, a technologically based mindset a lot uh, it's associated with inventors like Thomas Edison was an Aquarius so perhaps you have some brilliant idea that you would like to parlay into some kind of um, product that is actually an invention and you you're partnering up with some kind of a business man uh, I, I'm saying man I should say person um, who can provide you maybe financial backing so that you can get some prototype made and and see if it sells in the stores or something like that. Maybe even somebody who has a physical business, um, like, a, like a brick and mortar type of business where they can sell your products uh, and see if they, they catch on. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's something along those li uh, lines and it's some type of idea that may be really creating enthusiasm, generating a lot of excitement for you because you can't wait to see how it's going to work. But it sounds to me like with the Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, 
that it's very financially solid and that's going to be very a very prosperous idea so um, I hope you enjoyed this Aquarius and if you'd like a private reading please click on the link below otherwise have an amazing week bye